Hi, my name is Chris Malmberg. I'm the Director of Educational Product Development at Unity Environmental University Distance Education. I've been asked to talk a little bit about what makes our courses so special. But I'll tell you the truth. This isn't a video about a secret sauce or game-changing technology. Our courses are special because they have students do the things that they're meant to learn. And that really isn't all that strange, is it? At Unity Environmental University, our mission is to make experiential, hands-on, environmental science education accessible to students no matter where they live, at a price point that as many people as possible can afford. And like I said before, we like to have students do stuff as much as possible, instead of just having students read about other people doing stuff. So what does that look like? Well, it involves a little rethinking of what higher education has become, and what we at Unity think we should do differently. See, people didn't always learn by reading instead of doing, but that's sort of what's become of education over time, as it's had to evolve to handle larger and larger numbers of students entering the workforce, and a society that requires information fluency. Classrooms, learning theaters, auditoriums, with rows upon rows of students up to the nosebleed sections, on campuses with big bookstores and thick, expensive textbooks. This isn't a bad way to learn, by the way, it has its place, but you can forgive some students for being frustrated with it, paying lots of money for an experience that can feel pretty distant from the real world. Simply taking that model and putting it online can highlight just how empty it feels, which became suddenly very clear when the COVID pandemic forced so many in-person classes to be taught at a distance. That's why we at Unity don't teach in-person classes at a distance. Our courses are designed to take advantage of being online. At Unity, when you're learning about soil sampling, you watch or read instructions at your computer, then stand up and go outside, dig a hole in your backyard, and submit a film of yourself analyzing what you find. When you're studying sustainable culinary development, you research the local food supply chain, source some local ingredients, cook them, feed them to your family, and submit the menu and pictures of your recipes. When you're studying how to distance sample species populations in the wild, you go out into the wild and contribute directly to citizen science databases from your phone. When studying turtle rehabilitation, you design an actual turtle rehabilitation protocol for responding to disasters that impact turtle health. Our courses are constructed around course projects that put students into the real world doing real work. That said, it sometimes isn't easy, safe, or even educational to put you directly into authentic practice. The ground may be too frozen for you to dig a hole. The closest turtle may be thousands of miles away, and so on. In those instances, we lean heavily on approximations of practice that still teach you how to do the work. These can include simulated environments, research, applying evidence to solutions, and more. So that they're successful, students complete these in steps getting feedback along the way. In the end, what they make is valuable for more than just a grade. It can be something they apply in the real world because it was made in the real world, for the real world. It can be something that gets them a job. It might even be something that creates a job. This sounds ambitious because it is, but we put a lot of effort into making it inclusive and supportive. Our learning experience design team are experts in how people learn. They work with subject matter experts to define what success should look like and work backwards from the destination to write step-by-step -step instructions for how to get there. These subject matter experts are professionals in the fields for which our courses are designed. They help us recognize what skills actually help workers do the job. We don't measure the rigor of our courses by the number of students who fail, but hold ourselves accountable for setting the bar high and helping students get there. So, I said before that what we're doing may not be all that special. But I guess it is special. I just don't think of it as all that radical, even if it's different enough that I've been asked to make this video on how it works. I like to think of what we're doing at Unity as an old way of learning, a hands-on way of learning, mediated through state-of-the-art technology and modern values for inclusivity, access, and support, so students can learn where they are and not be forced into classrooms that may feel apart from the world in which they want to see themselves.